morning I was a bit out of breath and hot. I just had to take a wheel off the truck and pin back my mud flap, which uh, <laughs> got caught up on the tyre, making horrendous noise. That's incidental. Anyway, I haven't seen you for a while. Um, it's been way too hot in the shop here, and also Saturday, I guess it was, three, four, five, no, four days ago, my old back went a bit crazy. It's always bad, but it was uh, reached the point where standing was so limited it was pointless trying to do very much. Anyway, this is just a sort of update, really, uh, just to stay in touch with everyone. I'm going to handhold in a minute and just flip through a few odds and ends that I've got planned. Uh, nothing very exciting. So I hope we'll have, so uh, have something a bit more meaty before too long. And uh, that's about it for now. So I'll close the intro and uh, just wander around with one or two bits of hopeful interest. <laughs> okay. Well, first off, uh, I'm working towards doing something for one of our YouTube buddies, Lawrence Harrison. Can't for the life of me remember what his lathe make is, but anyway, he's got V-rails, and uh, he wants to make wipers, and at the same time keep them oiled. So I'm going to experiment here. I've cut this as a template. It's a 90 degree and uh, three quarter inch on each si each side. The idea is to cut, there's a lot of reflection on here, <laughs> that's a piece of, uh, I think it's 18 gauge or maybe 16, I forget, cut some pieces out of that so they're stiff and then have a felt layer and then a rubber layer probably glued on to the uh, support backing but whether the glue will survive the felt being oiled I don't know so that's a bit up in the air but making this virtually means standing all the time so it's a bit tricky so that's uh, that particular thing and then here it has a very simple idea which I want to implement um, Englishman French, one of the uh, guys who comments, he's another Chris if I remember rightly. He made a very, send me a picture, a very simple chip tray. I mean as you can see this is desperately in need of a good clean up. But this is, I forget, two and three quarter, no no it's more than that, if I forget. Anyway it's all it is is a piece of folded sheet metal from just below the ways down to the bottom and back up again. Quickly removable, just to hold most of the chips. Sounds pretty logical to me. Don't know why I hadn't thought of it. <laughs> so I'll probably knock, knock up something for that. Then back to this spot here. Here's a tool holder, one that I haven't used yet. And the reason I got that long bolt in is because one of the guys on homemadetools.net, which I think is the correct URL, I get an email every day and I get the odd ideas. Um, what he'd done was on the back of the tool holder, he'd machined a block, quite a substantial block, not perhaps as high as that, but it was a block with uh, fittings in and out. So on the back was the uh, coolant feed, which in my case would be gravity feed oil. And then from the uh, front of the fitting, he just very simply had a piece of copper tube coming down to drop onto, uh, to, to drip or flow onto the tool. I think you get the general idea. If I can find a chunk of material, I might try and make something like that, just to get the uh, oil on the tool for, for sort of all the time. So we'll be trying that. Thought I'd better get back on the tripod here. This is a potential project, quite involved. Um, 
Some of you guys may remember I got some diamond tool holders, which is from these people. And I've bought the drawings for what they call the acute tool sharpening system. If you go to their website, uh, eccentricengineering.au, I guess it is, anyway you could find it. But I got the drawings because what they what they supply is a complete kit or even a kit of parts. Uh, it's all metric, <laughs> which is not a lot of use to me, unfortunately. But it's a clever system, which you can mount adjacent to a regular grinder. Um, just a very quick rundown here. You've got a very clever parallelogram system. You've got a tool block, receptacle and a tool holder. You've got pins and holes and pegs and lots of adjustment. Uh, I like the idea and I'm quite tempted to make it. But uh, it's quite a good set of drawings. Let's see if it shows on the. Uh, oops. Let's see if it shows on camera just a little bit. So it's quite detailed. And uh, <laughs> all ne everything needs converted to inch for my purposes. So there's quite a lot there. Uh, this is a possible project. It's going to take quite a long time. And. Uh, whether I shall do it yet, I don't know. Maybe one of those things for the winter months when I'm freezing my nuts off. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, there we are. That's all for now. Just an update, really, in case you thought I died or something stupid. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks for watching.